Hey, what's going on, people? Guns blazing back at it again. Bring you some farm decks for level 40 Tardy Cyrus Truesdale. This is the first one I'll show you. It's a sea stealth attack farming deck. Um, not the cheapest deck I have, but I will show the cheap deck after this one. So here we're making use of that playset of sea stealth attacks that we pulled a couple packs ago. But if you don't have three copies, there is a way to run this deck. Less consistent, but it's still possible with a setup like this using Cat of Ill Omen and Crystal Seer to replace the extra sea stealth attacks and the Warrior of Atlantis. As for the level 5 water monsters, you can use whatever level 5 water monsters you want as long as they have enough attack. So that two union attacks combined will get your vassal to over 10,000 attack. We are running that restart of course to get the maximum consistency. All you really need is to pull a hand like this and you're pretty much set. Because Warrior of Atlantis can pull your legendary ocean. You just play that. Normal summon your, uh, your level 5 water monster. Set that sea stealth attack. You're good to go. Here I'm using the second Warrior of Atlantis to pull the second legendary ocean. Just so it speeds it up a bit. As for attacking his monsters, that's optional. It's up to you. Uh, you might get 8,000 points either way. If you don't get a lot of glossy and prismatic points, you might want to. Also, it stops him from using his submarine roy to attack. Here's a little thing you can do to get some extra points. Set the second legendary ocean and tribute one of your, uh, one of your dudes for one of your other level 5 guys. That's some extra tribute summon points right there. Uh, but make sure that you reflip your legendary ocean after you do that. So that sea stealth attack is still activatable. Alright, now let's have a quick moment to pay respects to Cyrus Truesdale. As you know, Konami did him dirty. Come on, are you serious right now? Tardy Cyrus Truesdale? Like, we got Elegant Mai, we got Superb Taya, Super Joey, and you're telling me that this guy's defining quality is that he's tardy? Nah, nee, dude. Like... You're telling me that the whole naming team couldn't think of something better than this. At least give the boy some dignity, man. Like, at least Cougar Hunter Cyrus. At least something like Cyrus on Royce. Imagine, imagine uh, going into your classroom and your teacher's giving out compliments to everyone. Like, oh my, you're so elegant today. Joey, you did a super job, dude. But you, Cyrus Truesdale, you're tardy. Anyways, my bad. I went off on a tangent. You know the finishing combo. It's just secret pass on the vassal, two unit attacks, and then anti-magic arrows. You keep that in your hand until the battle phase hits, and then you'll be able to activate it and then hit him in the face for over 10,000. I'll leave the results screen up there just so you can see exactly how much glossy and prismatic points you need to make this a full 8,000 farm. All right, another one just to demonstrate what to do when you brick because, you know, even with the restart, you're going to get hands like this that piss you off it'd be like that sometimes but you will still be able to come back and complete the farm even from a situation like this i do pick up a warrior of atlantis that's not the optimal card to draw there i would have liked the level 5 monster but we can roll with this just summon it hopefully he doesn't have anything to deal with it turns out we get lucky and he does not i go ahead and see stealth when he no entries because i don't want them both in defense mode uh, that's that leaves him open for shield crush and just getting destroyed by all of his monsters Anyways, that buys me enough time to pick up the level 5 and again I'm doing the little tribute summon for extra points trick right here with the legendary ocean and From here. We've pretty much recovered the farm We still can lose if he attacks directly three times with a uh, what's his face submarine roid, but most of the time, he's going to set his submarine roids before he uh, flips them up the next turn and attacks with them. So, we don't really have to worry about that. And we don't really care if our warrior, warrior of Atlantis dies here. He's served his purpose. Usually, I just get two level 5s out. And then I'm not going to summon a third level 5 because there's no point in doing that. I'm going to leave a space open for my vassal. But, you know, just in case you, uh, you accidentally summon your third level 5 or you didn't know... I will be summoning one on purpose to show you just exactly what you can do uh, to get rid of your third monster, and it's pretty much just using C Stealth Attack at the start of the turn. There you go, this is you. Let's pretend this is you playing like a boosted monkey, summoning your third level 5 monster. That's going to be fine. You're just going to have to use C Stealth Attack on the turn that you use your Gravekeeper's Vassal uh, combo. Almost there, just one more turn. Of course, I pick up Legacy of Yadagarasu on the second last turn, so I can't use it. 
It's all good though. See stealth attack. Free up a space. Same thing. Secret pass. Double union. Yada yada. Enter the batage phase. Your arrows will be activatable. Uh, make sure that your toggle is back to on if you're uh, toggling off. Or else, congratulations, you just screwed yourself. Anyways, here's the next deck. Uh, this is pretty much the budget version of Sea Stealth Attack. Actually, it was a it was a one. It was a deck that was made before Sea Stealth Attack even existed. So it's Legendary Fisherman. It's pretty much the same concept. If you get Legendary Fisherman, uh, your Legendary Ocean, and your Continuous Trap Spirit Barrier instead of Sea Stealth Attack this time, uh, you're good to go. Now, obviously, this one's going to be less consistent, but what do you expect? It's a cheaper deck. Uh, I believe that's zero, zero super rares or ultra rares from packs. But yeah, in this particular replay, I start off with the Dream Hand. I just had to Legendary Ocean, summon the Legendary Fisherman, and set the Spirit Barrier. A couple of important things to note with this deck. You only want one Legendary Fisherman on the field. Don't even get a second one out. If you do, you're screwed. Here I'm doing the same trick that I use uh, with the other deck to get the Tribute Summon points. But the reason why you're screwed if you get a second Legendary Ocean out is because you actually cannot fuse a Legendary Fisherman on your field to get this guy. I think it's because of Legendary Ocean that you cannot fuse from the field. And that means you won't have space for your Vassal and your Fusion Monster. And then you can't do this full combo. So yeah, don't get a second Legendary Fisherman out on the board. Only one Legendary Fisherman out on the board at a time. So those are the two decks I'm showing. The first one is the one I use. The second one is just a very cheap version of the one I use. I will show one more, but I, I don't really recommend this one. This one is Blue Eyes White Dragon. Another farming deck that's pretty cheap to make. But honestly, if you can run the other decks, I would probably go with them. Because this one, is, this one gets really risky. And also, yeah, you can replace the Blue Eyes White Dragons with White Knight Dragons. And also, uh, replace the Kaiba Mans if you're going to do that. But I'll show you why I don't really recommend this farm. By the way, this spell card is uh, Melody of Awakening Dragon. It's Kaiba's level 45 reward. Pretty much allows you to discard any card to pick up any two dragons from your deck that have 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less defense. So that's Blue Eyes and that's White Knight Dragon. I don't know if there's any other cards you can pull with it. The best way to use it would obviously be to discard a Kidmoto Dragon, and then you can summon one of the blue eyes that you pick up from the deck. Anyways, this is where the farm gets hairy. So he has one back row, I'm still attacking. It turns out it's no entry. And unlike, unlike the other deck which has sea stealth attack, my blue eyes white dragons are very vulnerable because there's no, uh, there's no busted continuous trap that's protecting them. So he gets his Drillroid out, and that's pretty much going to be able to kill both of my Blue Eyes White Dragons that are on the board. I do pick up Champion's Vigilance. Truth be told, I should have used it on this 1800 attack monster right here, just to prevent the damage. Turns out he sacks his uh, Fusion Monster, but I top deck the exact card I need. You don't want to be top decking cards uh, while you're farming. <laughs> it's not really the best feeling. Not really the optimal way to do things. That's why I recommend uh, C Stealth Attack with the level 5 monsters. Gotta go ahead and Champions Vigilance that submarine roid or else it's gonna attack directly for uh, for game. And right here I'm just hoping he doesn't pick up another submarine roid and finish, finish me off. Turns out he doesn't so we're good for now. I'm just setting two monsters so I can sack for my second Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm gonna clear his board a bit. And next turn, I believe, is the final turn. Yeah, I'm not going to even wait for my deck out because I know I'm going to get over 8,000 with all the prismatics that I have. I don't want to risk him attacking into me. So I'm just going to finish off right here. Again, I don't recommend this deck, but if you have this and you don't have the other ones, this is an option. There's other options out there, but yeah. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more farming decks and Duel Links content. This is your boy Guns Blazing signing out. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Jordan, cry for you. Do things when you want me to. Like control.